so obviously the offense has been fantastic this year. Just uh, and you know leads the nation in points per game. Just uh, you know, what do you, why do you think this offense has gone from you know obviously good to the best in the nation? Uh, you know, it's a continual growth that we need to make. Uh, our mindset is we have to get better every single day. We're never satisfied. Um, and if we have that, then we will continue to get better. Um, you know, complacency is the biggest killer of success. Next, we'll go to Jordan McPherson of the Miami Herald. Jordan? Yeah, hey, Zach. Uh, in what area specifically do you think you guys can get better? Uh, I mean, pretty much in every aspect. Um, you know, you put on the film and there's there's plays left on the field, you know what I mean? Um, it's really just locking in, staying focused, chasing a perfect game. You know, you, you'll never play a perfect game, but the goal is to chase that. And I'm just curious your thoughts on Georgia Tech, who you guys are facing on Saturday specifically, their front seven, the challenges they may pose to the offensive line? Yeah, it'll be a good challenge, just like last week. You know, they move around, show some exotic looks. So uh, we'll have to communicate well and uh, be on our P's and Q's. Next, we'll go to Matt Trudell at Kane Sport. Matt? Um, yeah, hey, Zach. Can you just talk about the run game really getting on track the last few weeks? What sort of clicked for everybody? It's a mindset. Um, you know, we want to impose our will on the teams we play. And you do that through the run game. Um, it's physicality. Uh, we need to focus on that, continue to grow in that aspect. Um, we'll be all right. Next, we'll go to Cass Clayton from New Era Prep. Cass? Hey, Zach, it's you too. I got a couple questions for you. I wanted to follow up on, I, I met your mom on Saturday. Super sweet lady, by the way. Uh, but your dad experience, right? His first time there. What was his what was his take? Like just seeing you play for you guys to win in that fashion and just overall Miami. Uh yeah, he loved it. Um he liked the stadium, liked, liked the energy. Um and you know, it's definitely a culture shock. I don't he's never been down here besides uh just the last couple of weeks, so He's still trying to get used to it, but uh, he'll be down here, I think, uh, for the rest of our home games. So it'll be nice to continue to show him around and show him what Miami has offered. Nice, nice. Um, but with that being said, I'm sure it's different from Indiana. Um, it's only a handful of teams that are still undefeated. Indiana is one of your, your former teams. They're undefeated right now. Have you talked to any of the guys from that team about your undefeated seasons that you're having? Uh, I really haven't, you know, I've just been focused on, uh, what we're doing. Um, you know, I'm happy for them that they could turn it around. Um, you know, it's good. Uh, but like I said, right now, all I can focus on is us. Well, I uh, wanted to ask you, just take you through the touchdown run in the third quarter. Just how excited were you when the play got called up and just what was your action getting the ball and being able to score at such a key moment there? It was a, first of all, it was like a blessing from God to be able to play football to get my love. And then uh, we got practice, we're practicing it. And then when it got caught in the game, I was like, I got to get in. So what we got to do to get in the box, that's what I got to do. And for you personally, just how would you evaluate your season at this point? Obviously, hurt the team's very loaded at, at receiver, tight end, running back. There's only so many snaps. Just how would you evaluate how much you've been able to play and just taking advantage of the opportunity when you are on the field? I'm grateful for every opportunity that I get, but I know there's a lot of good players here. So right now I'm just soaking it in, learning from the older guys like Elijah Royal, Kim, Riley. I'm even learning from X, just learning the game, learning like the nest of the football, learning, taking little pieces from everybody, kind of adding it to my value, to my craft. Next, we'll go to Adam Lichtenstein of the Sun Sentinel. Adam? Hey, Elijah. How's it going? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, just, I mean, how fun is it for you when basically the play call comes in and the play is like, get the ball, run five feet into these guys and and get in the end zone? It was really fun. I just wanted, I just, when the ball's in my hand, my job is to try to do what I, the best I could do with the ball. And that time I got the ball, I was like, I got to get in the end zone. So I just get in the box to score. And then uh, the offense as a whole is, is kind of going at a historic pace right now. Uh, you know, first in the nation in points per game. Just what do you think is, is just clicking with with all you guys, you know, especially, you know, in the passing game on offense? Well, we got a lot of 
great players on our team. We got Alex, we got Sam Brown, we got Jacoby George, we got Elijah Royal, we got Cam. We got Cam Ward throwing the ball. We got a lot of good players, a lot of playmakers. So like, we have a lot of like, opportunity to make plays that we just got to make plays and continue to ball out and play for each other. Next, we'll go to Matt Shadella, Kane Sport. Matt? Yeah, hey, Elijah. Um, you know, you mentioned you're sort of learning from the older guys. What, you know, what would you say you're working on the most to improve as you look to the future? Is there any one aspect of your game that you really uh, think you can make that next jump in? Because obviously you're already doing a bunch of stuff really well. So, like, for me, I'm just learning from everybody. I'm learning, like, routes from X, blocking from Cam, um, even running, little running about plantation of Dane. And um, if uh, Mark Mark Fletch is learning, like taking little pieces that they're doing and trying to add it to my bag and make me a better person and make me better on the player, I mean on the field, so I can be able to, when I get the chance to be able to use it. We'll go to Jordan McPherson of the Miami Herald. Jordan, yeah, hey again, Elijah. The versatility that you're mentioning again, receiver, tight end, running back. Just how much do you embrace that part of your game, being able to. Uh, basically play whatever role is needed and knowing that you can excel at whatever spot that you that they need to utilize you in? Um I'm I'm really happy. Whatever Chris Ball, for Chris Ball, uh because Dawson even to do, I'm gonna do it to help the team get one or no. Chris Ball he's preaching one or no, one wanna know everything we do. So every time I get opportunity to do anything on the field, I'm gonna attack it as one or no and try to win the rep, win this win. Anything else for Elijah? We'll go back to Adam Lichtenstein of the Sun Sentinel. Adam? Hey again. So, um, obviously, you know, the first college football playoff rankings come out tonight. Uh, Coach Cristobal said yesterday, basically, he's not paying attention to it, really. Uh, how excited are you guys just to, you know, see where you guys stand right now? Obviously, still, you know, a couple more games left in the regular season. But just how exciting is it uh, for those to come out tonight? It's uh, it's exciting, but we're not really worried about that. Like, like I've been, like Chris Ball been saying, how he be telling us, just want to know everything, just worry about, the you worry about us, worry about our brothers. We go on like every day, every practice, every time step on the field, you're gonna want to know. Last week against Duke. Um you guys it uh seemed like I had a bit of a rough time getting into the backfield, getting to the quarterback. Um well, I guess what what was Duke doing something that made things a little more difficult for you? Were you guys not executing? Just what what was different about that game? Uh, from the beginning of the week, we knew it was going to be a little tough game for us because we knew the uh, Duke quarterback get, gets it out in a certain time. He he, he tried to rush his throws, so we knew it was going to get be a, a challenge to get there. So we just had to uh, be patient and just keep on playing through the game and uh, play with technique and so, technique sound. And we knew we knew it was going to be our time, but I, we we knew what type of game it was going to be coming in. And then just what have you seen from, you know, the young defensive linemen, guys like Justin Scott, Cole McConathy, Booker Pickett. I know he plays a bit of linebacker and kind of plays both. But um, the younger guys, what have you seen from them? Man, they're coming in all good, man. They're uh, watching the older guys, and they're and they, and they, they getting better and better each and every day. And they continue to ask questions because they, the sky is limited for them, I feel like. They're some really good players and real, real good people. Next, we'll go to Jordan McPherson of the Miami Herald. Jordan? Yeah, hey there, Sammy, and thanks for taking the time. Uh, throughout conference play, we've seen you guys, defense, maybe you guys have some lapses or some lulls early, but then once the second half, specifically the fourth quarter hits, it seems like you guys are locked in, you guys have things figured out. What is it about, as the game goes on, that you guys either start figuring things out or you start wearing down the offense? What is there anything you can pinpoint about what you guys do better as you guys get later into a game? Well, Coach Gizzy have a good point, game plan coming in the second half. Uh, good second half adjustment, and I just feel like we need to just start faster. And I mean, it just I don't know, man. We we just got to start faster, and I feel like we just have a good time uh, having a second half uh, second half adjustments. And coming into the game, uh, that's not always what we're gonna see. So what, what we watch on film, that's not always what we're gonna see. So sometimes uh, teams switch it up, and it's like okay. Now we got to make adjustments and, uh, yeah, so on. What goes into starting the game faster? Uh, more pick up the intensity. Uh, don't get complacent when we get a three and out. Uh, keep on going until the clock hits zero. Next, we're going to Matt Shadow at Sport. Matt? Oh, yeah. Hey, Simi, and <laughs> thanks for taking the time. So you mentioned that, you know, what you see on film is not always what you're going to see, which is, you know, it's fairly obvious, but – 
Um, would you say in all of these ACC games, have the opposing offenses sort of surprised you, maybe with stuff they hadn't shown that much previously? Um, or is it pretty much still just sort of stuff that, that you'd seen and just there were some busts here and there? There's most. I mean, uh, sometimes – most of the time, it's just trick trick plays, and it's just uh, catch us by the wall. But we just got to keep on chopping and just keep on going and uh, adjust like we always do. Anything else for Simeon? Awesome, Simeon. We appreciate your time. Oh wait, hang on. We got a late hand coming in. Uh, we'll go to we'll go back to Adam Lichtenstein from the Sunset Sun Autumn. Coming in right to the wire. Um, just. Ah. <laughs> Uh, just what have you seen from, from the uh, Georgia Tech offense? You know what what strengths uh, or what things uh, might be difficult for you guys against them? Uh, I don't see. I mean, we just of course got to keep on game planning. They are, they are a heavy run team. They got good players all around the board. Good old line and good QB running back. And I just feel like we just got to make sure we just play gap sound and keep, play our technique and play the call and just do our job and play physical. That's why I feel like good. Um, so Georgia Tech, I know like their quarterback has been banged up this year. Sorry, I got a text. Um, but uh, yeah, I know their quarterback's been banged up this year. How do you go about preparing for a team? Uh, when you're not sure, you know who's gonna be playing quarterback. Uh, we're preparing for it. We're preparing for both situations. If he plays, if he not plays, and we're just preparing for him. He's a great quarterback, but like I said, we're preparing for both situations. If he plays or if he not doesn't plays. And then you know, with Jay just being out for the you know near future at least, um, just how have you guys in the, in the cornerback room kind of been preparing? You know, how have guys tried to step up maybe over the last couple of days in practice? Uh, next man up mentality. That's all we're working on. We're all versatile, and it's just next man up. Next, we'll go to Matt Shadell at Kane Sport. Matt? Yeah, hey, OJ. Um, you sort of played beyond your years um, this season. Obviously, you're, you're having a great year. Um, did you make a jump in your play after you arrived at Miami, or were you always this good? Can you sort of talk about your progress and, and where you think maybe you made that big jump up to where you're having such a great season? I think I definitely made a jump. Me, be, like I said, me being prepared. I think I, I made a great jump. Me watching film every day, me getting the great work from our receivers. It just, it was just time to come, and I just see it week by week. I'm just improving. Next, we'll go to Jordan McPherson of the Miami Herald. Jordan. Yeah, hey there, OJ. We've seen a few times already this season. Cal comes to mind. Last week against Duke comes to mind. Uh, Cavill, you guys, the defense has some lulls maybe in the middle of the game, but then by the time you're in late third quarter and then from the fourth quarter and beyond, you guys seem to lock it down. What is it about this team that as a game goes on, you guys sort of find your stride? I mean, we just got to come out there and do what we do. If we all on the same page, come out there hot, then we're going to create some problems. But we just got to keep staying focused. Anything else for OJ? Next, we'll go to Marcus Benjamin at Canes County Market. Hey, OJ, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, man. Uh, first, just a quick question for, you know, any anybody that wants to know, how did you get the name OJ? It's kind of a long story, but I kind of basically get it from my dad. They basically called my dad OJ, and then they just kept with me, and they used to call me Juice Man, so it's just like, it's a long story. <laughs> Got you. And... Last week, it seemed like they were targeting you a lot, you know, especially like in the first half. You know, uh, I, I assume because you're a freshman that that's that's why they were targeting you. Knowing that they will target you or even during the game that they were targeting you like that, you know, how do you take on a challenge like that? And how did you think you you kind of handled them just kind of targeting you in that game? I think I handled it. I handled it good. I mean, like I said, I've been preparing all week with my older guys watching film, going harder in practice. So I knew when the plays were coming and I just made the play. We'll go back to Adam Lichtenstein of the Sun Sentinel. Adam. Hey again. Um, so obviously the offense is on like a historic pace right now, playing really well. Um, what do you see from them in practice? Like, is there any, you know, I know everyone likes to say, you know, you guys say iron sharpens iron, but going against them in practice, it just is it just like, dang, can I get a break? I mean, we give each other, we, we give each other great work. I mean, some days offense wins, some days defense wins, and then that's how it works. Iron sharpens iron. 
Next, we'll go to Cass Clayton from New Era Prep. Cass. Juice, man. How you feeling today? All right? Good. How are you? All right. Uh, well, you know, with all the success that you're having, do you feel like you're one of the leaders on defense? And if so, what's some of the qualities that you bring uh, to the defense? I'm not a leader yet. I'm just I'm just playing my part. My team needed me to step up, and I just had to step up. All I could do is just bring the energy, bring the confidence. That's all I could do. And then, man, just reflect on your first interception. What was that like? I mean, it felt great. I should have had another one, but it's going to come. 